Hi once again. So today, let's continue on discussing the values of quadrantal and special angles. Before that, let us recall the Cartesian plane. So here we have our x-axis and we also have our y-axis. So how are we going to name the quadrants? So in naming the quadrants, we'll be having it counterclockwise. So starting from here as quadrant 1, going to the left, quadrant 2, going down, quadrant 3, and going to the right, quadrant 4. So So let us identify the sign of each trigonometric ratios in the given quadrant. So let's start with quadrant 1. It, in our quadrant 1, sine theta is positive, cosine theta is also positive, and tangent theta is also positive. Therefore, in quadrant 1, all of the three circular functions is in a positive. For quadrant 2, sine theta is still positive, Cosine theta is negative and tangent theta is negative. Therefore, in quadrant 2, only sine theta is positive. For quadrant 3, sine theta is to negative. Cosine theta is also negative and tangent theta is positive. For quadrant 3, we only have tangent theta as positive. And lastly, for quadrant 4, sine theta is negative. Cosine theta is positive and tangent theta is negative. So for quadrant 4, the only positive one is cosine theta. So we're going to use this for us to solve for the values of quadrant quadrantal angles and special angles. So what are quadrantal angles? Quadrantal angles, if the angle terminal side coincides with axis. So if we have here the Cartesian plane and the unit circle, quadrantal angles coincide with the axis. So therefore, it coincides with here, whether the x-axis or here on the y-axis. So let's check the four quadrantal angles. So we will be starting with zero degrees. So let's try to solve for the values if the given is 0 degrees. So how are we going to solve for cosine 0 degrees? So once again, our formula for cosine, recalling in our circular functions, is we have your adjacent over hypotenuse, or that is what we have, your x over R. So having your zero degrees, that falls here. So this is our zero degrees. So our value of our x is 1. Since this is a unit circle, that therefore the radius is 1. is also 1. So 1 divided by 1, therefore cosine theta like cosine 0 degrees is equal to 1. How about if we're going to solve for sine 0 degrees? So the formula for sine 0 degrees is we have y over r. And we all know that the value of y here is 0 and the value for 1, r, is 1. So therefore, our sine theta is 0. And lastly, is for us to solve for tangent 0 degrees. So for our tangent 0 degrees, our formula for tangent is we have y over x. So therefore, our value of y is still 0 and our value of x is 1. So therefore, our tangent theta is still 0. Proceeding, let's have the second quadrantal angle, which is 90 degrees. So let's solve if the given is already 
in 90 degrees. So first is cosine 90 degrees. So the blue line here is already the 90 degrees. So we have there cosine is x over r. The value of our x is 0 and the value of our radius is 1. So therefore, cosine 90 degrees is 0. Next, let's solve for the value for sine. So sine 90 degrees is having a formula of y over r. The value of our y is 1 and the value of our radius is also 1. So therefore, sine 90 degrees is 1. And lastly, is for us to solve for tangent 90 degrees. Tangent 90 degrees is we have y over x, which is the value of our y is 1 over the value of our x is 0. 1 divided by 0 is considered as undefined. Therefore, the value for tangent 90 degrees is equal to undefined. Proceeding on the third quadrantal, quadrantal angle, we have 180 degrees. So let's solve cosine 180 degrees. So the formula once again for cosine is x over r. Our 180 degrees is this one. So from here going to here, so from here going to here, that is 180 degrees. So the value of our x is 1 and the value of also of our y, r rather, is 1. So let's solve for cosine 180 degrees. So our formula for cosine is x over r. So what is the value of our x is negative 1 since it is on the third, on the left side of our x axis over our value of r is 1. So negative 1 divided by 1 is we have negative 1. So cosine 180 degrees is equal to negative 1. Next is solving for sine 180 degrees, having the formula of y over r. Our y is 0 and our r is 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. Therefore, sine 180 degrees is equal to zero and lastly is for us to solve for tangent 180 degrees is equal to the formula y over x y is zero and our x is also one therefore zero tangent 180 degrees is equal to zero and for the last quadrantal angle is we have your 270 degrees. So let's solve for the value of 270 degrees. So our 270 degrees is on the fourth quadrant between third and fourth quadrant. So let's solve for sine 270 degrees. The formula for sine is we have y over r. So the value of our y is negative 1 and the value of our radius is 1. So negative 1 divided by 1 is negative 1. So sine 270 degrees is equal to negative 1. Solving for cosine 270 degrees, we have the formula of x over r. The value of our x is 0 and the value of our r is 1. So therefore, 0 divided by 1 is 1. Cosine 270 degrees is equal to 1. And lastly, is tangent 270 degrees. Having the formula of y over x. The value of our y is negative 1 over the value of our x is 0. Negative 1 divided by 0 is undefined. Therefore, tangent 270 degrees is undefined. What how about the special angles? We have the special angles 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. 
So how are we going to solve for the special angles? We have here a triangle divided into, as we can see here, 30 degrees and 60 degrees having it. So we have here two triangles to use for us to be able to solve for the ratios of the special angles. So let's have some examples for us to identify. Let's have some examples. Example number one. What is the exact value of sine 120 degrees? So we need to look for the value of sine 120 degrees. So let's have some examples. Example number one. What is the exact value of sine 120 degrees? So first, let's illustrate that sine 120 degrees. So we have here your Cartesian plane. And we have here a circle. So let's have, let's find the exact value of 120 degrees. So using a protractor, let's look at 120 degrees. So we have here the protractor. And looking at the protractor, we have here from 0 to 180 degrees. So we're going to locate 120 degrees. So 120 degrees is here. We have it here. Now that we located the 120 degrees, so let's draw already our right triangle. Okay, there you are. So since this is, okay, so from this, from the x-axis going to this angle, this is what we call 100, uh, this is our 120 degrees. Therefore, we need to know the angle inside how are we going to know what is the angle inside is simply 180 degrees minus 120 degrees since we know that a straight line straight line is having a 180 degrees so therefore that is 60 degrees and our theta is 60 degrees now, going back to our triangle a while ago, we have here our 60 degrees. So, 120, 120 degrees is located at quadrant 2. So, we can see that it is already located in quadrant 2. Now, we have a reference angle as 60 degrees. So therefore, our sine 120 degrees is equal to our sine 60 degrees. We know that on quadrant 2, sine is positive. So therefore, sine 60 degrees is equal to our formula for sine is y over R. So we need to substitute for the value of the given. So the value of our y is we have square root of 3 over the value of our r or our radius is. So sine 120 degrees is equal to square root of, sorry, and the value of our r is 2. So therefore, sine 120 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Example number 2. What is the exact value of cosine 150 degrees? So first, we need to illustrate again 150 degrees using r protractor. So here in our protractor, 150 degrees is located here. So let's illustrate already our right triangle. So from this angle, 
or on the x-axis, going to this, this is 150 degrees. So we need to find for the reference angle by simply subtracting 180 degrees by 150 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 150 degrees is a difference of 30 degrees. So going back the triangle for our triangle a while ago. So let's solve for the value of our cosine. 150 degrees. But before that, we know that angle 150 degrees is on the second quadrant. And on the second quadrant, we have cosine as negative. So the formula of cosine is x over r. Cosine 150 degrees with a reference angle of cosine 30 degrees. But we know that on the second quadrant, cosine is negative. Since cosine is negative, so if we're going to substitute that, so we will be having your the value of our x as square root of 3 over the value of our y is 2. But since we have negative, so therefore, negative square root of 3 over 2. Thank you and have a great day.